Yo guys, I'm Fasty Rides and welcome along today. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, then it's nice to have along for the ride. So today, what are we doing? Well, first of all, I'd like to just say thank you to all the new subscribers and the people who have been writing comments on my videos. I love it when you guys actually write to me, and, you know, tell me a little story or tell me something, I don't know. It's always nice to have that communication and I really enjoy that. Uh, so what else has been going on? Well, the sun's out for a start off. Look at it. It's bloody glorious. And it's going to be like this all week. It's just a shame I'm working, isn't it? Or I'd have been out all... Well, I think if if I wasn't at work, I didn't have a contract at the minute, would have probably gone to Scotland or uh, Cumbria or something like that. But that might just have to wait. So I think one of the first things we've got to do is get past this frigging clown. This is doing my head in. Slow it down a little bit. We're coming into a little, uh, little villagey town sort of thing. Yeah. So what were I on about now? Yeah, the weather. Beautiful. So now, <laughs> amazingly. I am going to the place that I've been before in one of my vlogs but I forgot to do one of the main features so since then I've been back to film it but when I got there it was absolutely peeing it down got the drone up and everything and it was just absolutely crap it was disgusting so then I rode it home and on that ride as well I nearly died twice so one in one of my local towns called Elland I was going on a road and then it drops down into a corner and on that corner where there was like loads of manure I mean tons of it and as I were going round the corner the front end slipped I put my phone foot down instinctively but the bike just caught it straight up and then the next place was uh, where we're going to today and because the roads were wet there was like these tarmac patches where it was just pure tarmac there was no stone on top of it or chippings so it was slick as hell the back end just wheel spun and went like that and then it caught it and just carried on yeah so that's one that's two incidents the next incident because they say that they happen in three is i've burnt my bloody top lip on a shepherd's pie would you believe <laughs> So last night I made a shepherd's pie or bought it and put it in the oven and cooked anyway. I got it back up to the computer because I was editing or doing something. And I must have been just half asleep and I put the bloody fork in my top lip. Oh, and I had loads of food on it and I could feel it were burning. So I had to just drop the fork and smear it off quick. Oh man, it hurt. But that's not all. So later on that night, with a burnt lip, and it's still, you know, tingling like mad at this point, and, you know, a bit sore, thought, oh, I'm getting a bit peckish. So I went down to the cupboard and got a packet of Pringles out. And just to note for this, they're them uh, Texas barbecue ones with all that, all that spicy stuff on top. <laughs> and me forgetting about my lip, I put one in, and the top edge of it must have just caught my lip and it's cut it because it were like really tender skin anyway and it's pushed it back so it's been bleeding and that oh and and the stuff off the crisp went into it honestly i were nearly in tears in fact i'm sure my eyes did fill up with water at one point anyway that's just one incidence in the life of faster typical of my life that so anyway on with the show today we're going out like i said and we're going to see some nice scenery depending on what happens and what time i get there i've got a few options so i know that there's a bike night on somewhere as i've been invited to it by uh, a lad only today or last night uh yeah i think his name on youtube is Cy B. So we might be going there. That's if everything else fails here. So I've got a few plans in motion. 
and I've just seen the uh, the fuzz up the road, the 5 -0 the pigs, whatever you want to call them, so that's why everybody's ride, uh, driving dead slow, which is fine, because I don't really want to get a speeding ticket, but when we get out of Hebden Bridge, oh, that's where we're going to put the hammer down, you can't touch this. in fact it's one of my favourite roads at the minute, the road between Hebden Bridge and uh, Oxenhope is the A6033 guys, if you ever get a chance, just just watch this video in fact I'm gonna do a separate video of just me riding that road because it's so lovely the first bit of it you've got like towns and you're climbing up the hill at little like village areas and housing areas but once you get out onto the top into the nationals and then it's like heaven oh, it really is amazing got some long straights with some nice corners and then you've got a section like with anti-slip surface on it and it's just weaving in and out like that and then you drop down into Oxenhut. So we'll go in there but we are in a bit of a rush today because I am chasing the sunlight to be honest. So it's going to take me an hour to get there, at least about an hour and a half actually. So that's where we're going today guys, so if you want to see some natural wonders of the world then stick with me and I'll take you on some beautiful roads, some beautiful scenery and a Yorkshireman talking crap Right guys, we're just coming into the historical town of Skipton I'm just going to stop and get a drink of water, have some flapjack and then uh, we'll head on out of here go to our, well we'll head to our destination and I'm sure you're in for a treat because it'll be bloody lovely today. Put it this way, it'll be well worth getting the drone out. That guy there's always stood outside smoking. Every time I've come here he's been there smoking. I must go through some fags. See, look at this. Why has she gone right over to that side and she's in the middle of you perfectly? Nice bike, and then we've got the church up here and all the shops down the sides of the little tea houses and shit. In fact, I'm going to come back down and we're going to park on the other side because... Oh, there's a cafe there, but there's one further down here. Now, if you look down... I don't know where it is, actually. There's all this little back area as well, down the back ends there. There's a car park and chippy and uh, all that lot. But we're going that way, out towards uh, the main road. It is perfect. So we can tuck it in and turn it around. Park just under a tree. I tend to always park just under this tree, you know. Right, I'm just going to have two minutes, guys. Oh, look, there you can see the church. That's lower. And then if you look down, just down here, there's like a little alleyway. Then further down, another alleyway where it says Craven Court. You might not be able to see it on this camera. But if you go in there, oh, it's dead nice. It's like a little arcade-type area, like really old world. It's well cool. Right, I'll be back in two minutes, guys. Right, I don't even know what this is going to sound like, guys. It might sound like crap because it was charging at the same time as, well, GoPro issues, basically. You can't recharge them and use an external mic at the same time. Or so they say. Or sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Anyway, let's get out of here. Got some place to be. It is lovely, Skipson. And I bet it's cracking night out, you know. There's loads of pubs and stuff. Right, this is where the roads are going to get nice, guys. Just up here.
just up here at the roundabout. And then we're going to put straight across. We've got to take a left. Exhaust popping and farting again. Because I'm in dynamic mode. Trials bikes, nice. Ducati multi strata, beautiful. I'd like to have a go on one of them, you know, just to see what the the differences are between, like, the GS and this. Good job I were on ball then, innit? Honestly, this place, North Yorkshire, when the sun's out, or should I say, when it's not raining, it is such a stunning counter. Really is beautiful. I mean, I'm sure there's many more in the UK that are just as nice. But with me living relatively close to it, within an hour I can be in the thick of it. Which is good. And I'm lucky really, because I've got Derbyshire as well. be honest for me North Yorkshire does it more it's too steep for your love mm, I'm not surprised it is pretty steep here we go so this is where we're going we're going to fly the drone up there that's Gordale Scar guys you can actually camp in this field down here in fact you can see some campers there we're going to park the bike up there, put it under that tree, I think. And then we're going to have a mooch around, because there's something else I want to show you that's down here, which is a bit of a natural wonder. And uh, I used to come here as a kid with my uh, geology class. We're going to go down there, down that footpath. Look at this lovely little stream here. Are we recording still? Yep, we are. Do is pack it under this tree. I might need my thunder foot.
Right guys, we're on our way now to Janus Foss. And I've just been talking to the guy that runs this place. Dead nice guy and everything, but God, you could talk a glass scientist, would you? Cheers, thank you. Call this limestone. Bloody slippy and wet though, and it's slippy in my motorbike boots, to be honest. So this is called Janet's Foss. But as you can see, got a load of kids. In fact, I'll go around the back of every f of the hills. Leaving the shit everywhere. Well, let's get a picture while we're here. I don't think we can get the drone up, guys. Look at it through there. And it's a nice walk. Right, let's get out of here. We've got other things to see. Well, that was nice. Nice to see it anyway. We need to come on a really quiet day when no one's about. Spend some time getting some really great photographer. Really long shutter speeds and things. That tent's like mine. Mine's not green though. Mine's beige. <laughs> it's like 1980s math teacher's beige. <laughs> like beige shirt with a brown tie. <laughs> Those are the colours of my tent. Right, so we're back on, are we? Well, we're going to get out of here now. Gonna head on out. See if we can get something to eat. Oh, do you know what I need? I forgot to do. Take my disc lock off. This is temperamental. This one as well. I might have to pull over. Oh, look. I want to get some pictures. Look at these lads. I want to try and get a good picture of them. I think I scared them off, guys. Well, not scared them off, but... That lovely the calf's them. Pretty young. Beautiful animals though, especially when they grow up with horns and everything. This is settled down here. And we're gonna head off home. We've had a bit of an adventure tonight. Not too bad to say that you only have four hours out. Get home, upload that to my PC, have a look at it all. And I think tomorrow I'll start editing it. Ready for Wednesday. Good instinct fast there. Eh? Bloody hell, I had a funny feeling something might come up there. I think that's why I changed down at first. Go it comes down. But you know what? Look at this guys. Look at that. God damn, the DSLR's coming out. <laughs> oh yeah, baba. Got to hurry up, Hannah. Right, guys, so I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm going to turn the camera off. So thanks for coming along for me on this adventure. So if you do like this sort of thing, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you get informed of when I've released a video. 
don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.